Okay, so hi everybody. Welcome back to school. And uh, we're, we've got about 15 weeks left and we're going to talk about image mapping. And yeah, believe it or not, 15 uh, weeks left and we're almost done with uh, Photoshop. I mean, not Photoshop. Did I say Photoshop? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I am ready for a vacation. I meant uh, Dreamweaver. Okay, and then we can put Dreamweaver to rest for a little bit. You know, despite it all, it may be difficult uh, software to learn, and it's not as fun as, like, say, Photoshop, but it's definitely worthwhile, and it's a very important skill set. So, at any rate, with that in mind, we've got this image that I created, and we're going to talk about image mapping. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in here the different websites that we're going to link to. So this is Google, okay? And we'll increase it a little bit. I know some of you did not uh, take Photoshop, but others have. And what do we call blue? Twitter. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and finish this up. Okay, so I will be right back. All right, so here it is now. As you can see, I've filled everything up. We've got Google here, Twitter. And what we're going to do is we're going to import this image into Dreamweaver and we're going to link only these images and everything else here, the white area, is not going to be touched. So what I do is I do File, Save As, and this gives me the opportunity to kind of show you the new structure. So you had Dreamweaver. Let's go to Lesson 3. Create a folder called Lesson 3. And then in lesson three, we're going to create another folder called images. Okay, and this may be the only images that we have. So, what I like you to do now is uh, obviously this is going to be a JPEG. Okay, so you're going to be downloading this. And I know I have a shapes over here, that was my bad. So, we're going to put shapes.jpg into images. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Press there. And so, if you were to look at it right now, okay, web, Dreamweaver. Lesson three, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this thing right here. Okay, move to trash. And uh, if we click on images, there it is right there, okay? Pretty cool. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up photo, uh, not Photoshop, Dreamweaver, and hopefully it will light up and I, again, will be right back. All right, here we are. We are now in Dreamweaver, and some of you may still have the old work. If you do have the old work, you can just go ahead and X out. Okay, right over here. Click on the X button and be done with it. Okay, so now we got started up brand new. So go ahead and create new. Okay, and then you'll be taken to this dialog box here, and let's call this Shapes. Okay shapes. HTML5, good enough. Go ahead and press create. Okay, here's our image right here. And the first thing I normally do is I go ahead and file, uh, name this file, save as, and then, okay, again, we're going to go to lesson three, and we'll call this index. Okay, index. And then go ahead and save it. Okay, and there we have it. This is a brand new site. And, you know, I know that the old site is right here, so you may want to create a new just for the heck of it. Go ahead and click on this drop down menu. It's under files. Okay, you see the files thing right there. So it's under lesson two right now, but you go ahead and click on manage sites. And then we're going to have a brand new site. So we're going to basically. Uh, Let's see, we're going to remove current new site right here. Okay, create a new site and we'll call this shapes. And then we'll point it to the new folder. Okay, so as soon as it's there, lesson three, choose. There you have it. So web, web, Dreamweaver, lesson three, press save. And now, of course, there's nothing here, uh, but press done and there it is right there. You notice that the shape is right there. All right. So what first thing we're going to do is we're going to import this shape. Let's go ahead and do that. And there it is right there. If I double click on shapes, I have it right there. And there's really no need for me to have the bottom part, but I'm going to keep it anyway. 
and you'll notice how big this is but I think we can work with this the first thing obviously I'm going to do now is kind of make this into the center okay so let's see if I can do this um, right click let's see uh, da, 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 da. not happening here again the alignment of center is really not all that's there so I'm gonna put the cursor to the left actually let's just see what we can do let's go to the properties box and the properties is right here so maybe if we were to well you know what maybe we have to manually make it so that it aligns center so down here um, we're gonna have to type it in okay align equals center okay and click up here and didn't quite work did it or maybe if I click put the cursor to the left okay notice how the cursor is to the left here is blinking so now maybe I can make it center there we go or what I can do is just delete this and make it center aligned right now see this okay so the cursor is not moving to the center and I don't know why it might oh maybe because I should yeah I'm on design mode I'll be right back well without me seeing I guess that's that's what did it so it was these code here so style align center again it's adding weirdness so I'm just gonna go ahead and put shape over there Oops, that opens up <laughs> I wanna put this in here there it is right there notice it's centered this opened up Photoshop and I really don't need it open up Photoshop so I'm just gonna let that go okay so it'll close it now image mapping is pretty easy so I'm gonna click on HTML okay so if I click on the image first of all I have to click on the image and notice that the image properties are here and on the lower left over here you'll notice that there's different types of shapes there's a rectangle hotspot there's a circle hotspot and let's polygon well the first one is Google so I'm gonna click on and that has a shape of a circle so I'm gonna click on circle hotspot and watch what I do I can just go ahead and kinda of highlight it and oops got to be careful then use this arrow tool right here and kind of move it so where do I want to link it I want to link it to HTTP colon www.google.com okay and then I want to open on its own browser so I select underscore blank the alt tag will be google.com there we go now let's go to Twitter here this time I'm gonna select the rectangle hotspot there I go click on that there I have it okay and then I'm gonna type in Twitter and if you have a specific Twitter account you can go ahead and um, select that as well okay now here comes the trouble part we've got this kind of crazy shape well that's where the polygon here hotspot comes in click on that and watch this one two three four and you'll see that as it moves it expands and the very last one there we have it okay and I can move it around if I want okay and the link of course goes over to YouTube again you have a specific spot you can just choose it let's go to blank alt tag YouTube and you can do the rest on your own okay so with Instagram again you're gonna choose a polygon tool so one two whoops you notice what happened there okay so we gotta make sure that this is deselected okay so now let's go ahead and try it again okay um, click here there it was still connected to the YouTube shape so we had to kind of click away and click back in there we have it okay good enough alright and it's probably still not locked in there so we gotta be careful about it and of course Instagram is a phone thing okay. alright and now we click away click in 
This time let's do Snapchat, which I have absolutely no idea what that's all about. Polygon tool. We'll start from here. Again, it's and I'm kind of messing up on purpose, making sure that it's not all aligned. So there we go, boom. To this day, I still don't know how Snapchat works. All right, so now I'm gonna click on the arrow and I'm gonna make corrections. See, I'm gonna go, whoops. I'm gonna make corrections. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this down, move this across, move this down. See that? I'm gonna go do this, there we go. Do that. There we go. And I think that's good enough. And call it Snapchat. I come. Okay. Now I've got Facebook. Uh, Facebook, of course. Now this one you can actually just, you know, I would just use a circle. Who cares? There we go. Circle not a problem and you can't really de, de um, you know if you wanna have the ins the in part uh, you, if you don't want the white spot over there kinda selected then you have to use a polygon tool and I just kinda feel particularly lazy right now okay so let's go ahead and do this Well, that's it and now you can go ahead and file save and what you can do is now um, let's go ahead and real-time preview using Google. Let's see what happens. There it is, and there it goes to Twitter. Okay. There it goes to Google. And you can go ahead and click on the other ones. Okay, YouTube, obviously. Okay, pretty cool. And your job is to do this, turn it in. That's all she wrote, folks. See you later.